Hey y'all, not drive time, not drive time. I hope this thing is working. Let's see. I ain't gonna know it until I upload the video. Look, y'all see the title. I've done a drive time video and um, and uh, I, I, I'm listening to it and I'm thinking, I'm like, bro, you skating on thin ice. Go ahead and take that down. I mean, I would take it down. I didn't even upload it. But anyway, here doing paperwork as usual, getting this uh, about ready to get uh, this other bill done. Oh, and oh, a sensor. You know, I got most of it sitting there. See if I can do this without screwing up. Philip, your machine. You're next, B550 Tomahawk, uh, V5 Tower Cooler, uh, six fans, Montec King 95 case, Ryzen uh, 5600, AM5, um, P6 Plus for primary, P2 for scratch, and then Whatever drive you want to like your finished projects, uh, you can put it on there. This guy, he also does a little bit. He streams and he streams. And what did he say? And he uh, is going to get into editing his own videos. So he reached out to me, uh, said, you know, he didn't see my videos and whatnot. He clicked on me for whatever reason. And then he saw the computer stuff and saw my stuff and said, ah, let me ask this guy, you know, and then, uh, and I gave him the email while I asked the, the people first, Hey, uh, is it okay if I get this guy your email, tell him how you, if you like the computer or whether you like the service or blah, 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 or don't like it, or this dude sucks or, or whatever the case may be. And, uh, he did it and he sent me the thing and, uh, I told him the cases that I had, and what he wanted, and then basically he had three computers to choose from, and and uh, two of the three cases. Oh yeah, and a uh, uh, let's see, his GPU. Where'd it go? There it is. Ah. His GPU. This is his GPU. Uh, six gigabyte, twenty sixty OC overclock edition. I don't know why I'm still talking back like I'm talking into the phone when I got the microphone right in front of my neck. And uh oh, and his uh memory is a Corsair Vengeance. That's his memory right there. So his his machine will be together tomorrow. Tomorrow, then as soon as I get his uh his Windows key. For Windows 11, then I can go ahead and start running it, burn it in so I can get it sent out to him. Anyway, y'all see how easily distracted I am. I'm quite sure y'all all, all yeah, but, uh, judging by the title. Um, y'all know what this is ab about. Look, little Daryl need to sit his silly ass. Up. No, I'll tell you what. Don't sit your ass down somewhere, little Daryl. Keep talking. Y'all know that smiley fella. He on the radio station and he just railing it. Black people, I'm sick of y'all. I'm tired of y'all. We tired of you too. You figure because you stand on stage, crack jokes, sometimes dress up as an old lady with a wig and earrings on and whatnot, or play someone that's on the spectrum with the thick glasses and whatnot, that, that you, that, that means that you have political clout? You have civics clout? You don't have no civics clout. You're a clown. You're a, you're a comedian, therefore you're a clown. 
I don't get on the stage and and do what you do. You're a clown. Okay, and you talking this Smith look, Kamala Harris and Donna, and she, he is on some radio station, something like a radio station, and saying, you know, about what she's done for black people. But the dude and the chick, and I know why they didn't do it. Well, I know why the dude, I don't even know who they are. But I heard one of the people was a chick. Sound like a black chick. So you know you say something. She on your ass, even though Kamala ain't black. And Kamala don't give a, don't give a about her ass either. She don't care about you. She don't care about none of y'all. Okay? But, so you, you're going to pull this one here. And you think they say, okay, well, uh, well, since you said she's done all kind of things for black people, can you name some? Even though you're not supposed, even though she said, no, I'm not going to do anything specifically for black people. And that's what I would expect from a politician. I would expect the politician to say that, but they only say that when it comes to you. They only say that when it comes to blacks and whites, that they ain't doing nothing specifically for you. But when it's the satellite groups, the subculture, the subcultures, you know, Rainbow Riders, all that kind of goofy stuff. I think I'm a boy on the inside, all that goofy stuff. Now, they 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 um, they reach out to the subcultures, <laughs> Hispanic, Asian. And oh, yeah. But you nah. you know, just like, uh, you know, uh, uh, what's her name? Stacey Abrams sat there in that barbershop and told them them Negro males said, I'm not doing that for you now. But she went to the La Raza Unidos Festival there in Georgia and got up on the mic with all them and told them what she was going to do for them if she if y'all elected me governor. Now she didn't win. She lost, but by a slim margin. But I mean, y'all Negroes don't get it. Y'all think y'all being cool bringing Stacey Abrams into y'all and, and the type of Negro males that was in that barber shop, no diss to them, but I'm just t telling you like a T.I. is. I ran the video. I think it's still up on my channel. Stacey Abrams wouldn't have S-H-I-T to do with that class of Negro male. Nothing. The gold I don't know what you heard about me. No, no. Okay. So, and, and like I said, cause y'all going to be the first ones to go anyway. Kamala ain't done nothing but lock y'all up, do deals for everybody else. Look at the deal that the Indians just got. Don't take my word for it. Look it up. And me personally, if I was Indian, I wouldn't care because I figure if ain't nobody dumb enough to stop the bum rush and it falls in my lap, you know, for the, the Indian Business Association thing. Well, my friend, I guess that's just the way it is. I had my Indian. I, I, I suck at it. That was horrible. <laughs> You caping for a woman that don't give a, and a system, political system that don't give a damn about you, which is fine. Look, it's your right to choose what political establishment you choose to support. If you choose to support any at all, that's your right. But when but notice it's always Negroes that uh, want to get up on platforms and grandstand and try to bemoan and disgrace other black people and Negro cause blacks and Negroes and the other them what they're, they're not the same. The hue is the same close, but that this totally different, totally different. Okay. And, and, and so how much, uh, I mean, and you, he just rumbling stammering and this you didn't do nothing but talk smack and the chick radio holds and the dude going along with it because you know black woman she gonna talk so much as s-h-i-t about you if you don't fall if you don't fall in line see i couldn't have that thing because me and we be going at it every day you, just because you bleed once a month that ain't a green light for you to talk shit to me I'm sorry. You gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'll be sitting in the car waiting to clock in 
just so I can light your ass up when you step out of line every day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. <laughs> That's why I'm not in that line of business because I wouldn't make it. Now, look, look, we done with Lil Daryl. Lil Daryl, go get on your bicycle with the training wheels on it. Put your helmet on, you know, with the chin strap. Make sure you got your chin strap on, okay? And you suspend this so your pants don't fall down and ride your ass up and down the driveway. Don't go to the corner. Don't go out of sight where Big Mama can't see your slow ass, okay? Stick to the stage and crack jokes. You ain't running S-H-I-T but your M-F and mouth. Now, Luther K Pop! That cool jet pop pop that cool jet baby pop. Shake them till they do the brown. I wanna rock. I wanna rock. I wanna rock. I wanna do the brown. 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 He gonna say. He kind of even called it the plantation, if I'm not mistaken. Thanks, Boss Tweed. Boss Tweed. Boss Tweed is my media. He be he be giving me that stuff. Him and and Matt and Lawrence between them three, I ain't got to search for nothing because they <laughs> be be full, and there's no shortage of content anyway. <gasps> about the blacks, y'all thinking about going for Trump? Y'all done left the plantation and this that and other and the Democrat Party. I'm gonna we're gonna allow you to come back to support this sister, Kamala Harris. Here's another Negro male caping for a female that don't give a damn about you. Why in the hell y'all gonna listen to Lil Daryl and, and, and shake them titties, doo doo brown, I wanna rock, I wanna rock. What? That's who you gonna listen to? But I'm a clown, I'm a coon, I'm a sellout, I'm a buffoon. But you listen to, but you, but you take the poison from them instead of the education from guys like me. Cool. I wish you the best of luck. He gonna give a time and a date, put a time and a date on it that y'all, all y'all Negroes that left the Democrat party, y'all need to be back on this date by this time With my can, or else, or else what? Or else what? Hmm. I love that or else the or else what? See, this is the part of my other video. I went smooth off the rail, and I'm like, y'all, ain't no way in hell I can clean that up. I may as well just delete it. Or else what? And putting it up on on BitChute and Rumble and and on the Wake Up Radio don't do any good anyway because you make a little short intro video with the links going over there, you still get flagged. So I just figure I'd make a clean version here. Or else what? What you gonna do, Doo Doo Brown? What you gonna do? And say you people have the right to exactly. They say. You have the right freedom of choice and right to vote. But then 10 seconds later, they're low level threatening you. If you don't vote the way that they. The political acumen between these two, I bet you I couldn't fill this damn cup with it. I bet you I could. not And anybody that's to watch me, watch me and Sly and Truth and Carrie and brother X and brother SKC, you know what I mean? And and then watched us just unscripted flow and brother Friedman's journal, you know, and brother and, and brother, uh, you know, uh, just watch us flow against these. It liberalism is a mental disorder. It's like, look, you've left the funny farm. You need to come back to this padded room with us. And if you don't, we're gonna call you names. Dun, dun, dun. I ain't gonna go, no, look, I'm just gonna say this. I, I need to get, I need to find that clip from the movie 
Um, it, you had Sylvester Stallone in it. He was John Spartan. He, they had froze him. He was a policeman because they turned uh, S San Diego or San Francisco or something like that in Los Angeles and made it one city called the San Angeles or something like that. And my boy, Wesley Snipes, was Simon Phoenix. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the movie, even though I haven't seen it four or five times. And um, I keep forgetting the woman that Lee wrote the woman, her name, but I know she was playing Officer Huxley, I think. I think that was her name. Something Huxley. And um, anyway, when he was at that machine, they didn't, they didn't thaw him out. And he up there and the cops come up there. We, you know, we've located the madman or whatever the hell. Uh, tell him to get Simon Phoenix. What? You know, uh, uh, get on the ground. Huh? You know, then he said something. Ooh, I'm so scared. What, y'all don't have a sense of humor no more? And he kept going on the thing. Beep, 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 beep. He, he's ignoring us. Well, say it more. And then the machine says something like, say it more sternly and follow it with or else. Simon Phoenix. Get on the ground or else. I said for else, whatever. And he stopped. T -t 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 -t. Maniac has responded with a scornful remark. Approach and repeat ultimatum in an even firmer tone of voice. Add the words or else. Simon Phoenix. <sighs> Lie down on the ground or else. Or else what? Set your watch to that date you said, Luke. Let's just pretend. And I don't come back on that date of time that you prescribe for whatever reason. Or else what? <laughs> 